Well, this is quite a dilemma. Yeah, who's he got a favor? The following champion versus champion contest is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, Paul Heyman. You know, it's kind of in a manager's job description to not be impartial. Well, you pointed out a potential conflict of interest. I'm just saying doing what's best for the client is what managers are paid to do. I think you're getting way ahead of yourself. We should be giving our guest referee the benefit of the doubt here. Ladies and gentlemen, the tribal chief is here. And the participants, first representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. The WWE Golden Champion and the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Over 1,200 plus days as Universal Champion, the third longest reigning world champion in WWE history. Yeah, it's gotta feel like pure intimidation when you are facing Roman Reigns. It may even feel like victory is virtually impossible. Reigns is firmly established as the head of the table and has no intention of being unseated. Does this man have the answer for the unrestrained aggression that comes when facing Solo Sokoa? You are looking at the future of the Bloodline. And his opponent representing the Bloodline from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, Solo Sokoa. Solo Sokoa is a single-minded and unfeeling destroyer inside the ring or outside the ring for that matter solo doesn't care where the fight starts he'll just make sure he's the one to finish it sokoa only has one thing on his mind right now and that's destruction this could get ugly fast Our special guest referee might have a tougher job than anyone anticipated tonight. We know our official is friendly with these participants. Hopefully that will prevent... He thinks he has it. He gets the shoulder up in two. The referee isn't fooling anyone with that slow count. Don't go throwing stones, Saxton. Maybe there's some pain in the trapezius muscle we don't know about. Turning the tables. Able to sidestep it. to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. Ooh! Draped across the top rope. Club in the cover. Big kick out. And the ref is showing integrity with that count. Our guest referee is showing superb reaction skills. Not missing a thing. Oh, what a leg drop. Back into the ring. He could pin his opponent right here. He narrowly avoids the count. Come on, he's counting in slow motion. I know you don't have any rhythm, Saxton, but you clearly don't comprehend cadence either. He turns it around. Big leg drop. The dominant streak of Reigns getting a bit challenged. Here's the cover. 
strong kick out there. I think we could have seen a fall off that pin. Blatant slow count. Correction, that was exemplary counting with unflappable consistency. Roman Reigns has definitely been one of the most dominant superstars we've seen in some time. Very, very true, Cole, which is why when you're facing off against him, you have to do your best to be the smarter competitor. You've got to get into Roman's head and try to push his buttons because that's the only way you're going to outclass the Tribal Chief. Capitalizing on Sokoa's mistake. And he goes for the pin. No shot! up at two. That was not a standard count, and we all know it. I don't think you realize how much energy gets taken out of you as a ref. Sometimes energy has to be conserved. <laughs> he leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Reigns cuts him off. <laughs> up and Slam. He's lost some of his win now. Roman just solidifying his position at the top with that kind of offense. Leg drop. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. He was waiting for him to make his move. Spinning solo. So much malice and vitriol behind that attack from Solo. And we're cutting it kind of close, don't you think? You can say that again. Time to get the let out. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the... And Solo Sokoa comes up huge with the win. Here is your winner, Solo. And they were not able to beat the ref's count. This one ends in a count out. I hate a count out. I feel cheated, and I know the WWE Universe feels cheated.